Hey guys, Patrick here. Today I want to show you this very cool product that was sent to me by the brand. This is from Millicy, and this is the TR10 Infrared Thermal Imager. This thing is very cool. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of these or messed around with them before. Uh, well, I'll open it up so you can see it, but packaging on this is very nice. I like this a lot. This does have a lot of cool features, so wide temperature range you can adjust. I'll show you that. You can do a PC screen projection. You have adjustable emissi emissivity and uh, cold and hotspot tracking and auto alarm. You also have on here, which you'll see uh, the option, there's a little trigger and you can click that to take snapshots of what you're looking at. So let's open it up. Packaging on this is fantastic. The first thing you are going to have is your user manual. Definitely keep that handy in case you need it. And then right on top, we've got a nice foam piece keeping this protected. This is a piece of equipment, right? An electronic piece of equipment. So this is great that they have this so protected. You have that foam piece on top and then inside you have a form fit foam piece for the actual machine. So let's pull this out. This thing looks very cool. Set that here. You also are going to have a lanyard you can attach to the bottom of the handle. You have your charging cable. This does take USB-C and you have your inspector pass sticker. Let me put that back in there. And I'm going to show you turning this on, going through a couple of the features. This thing is very cool. I used to work in a lot of uh, construction, home, home construction. And so I think these are very cool. So you can check, um, you know, if you have blank spots in your insulation in the attic, you need to make sure that you don't have a cold spot. Make sure you don't have like any cold spots on the in the attic space or in the slab if you have any water leaks so you can see if there's something that's just out of the norm very cool thing let me turn this camera around and we will show you all right guys so here is the actual unit in my hand i think it's very nice it did have a protective film on the screen i took off this will show you what it looks like here's the trigger i mentioned uh, the other thing i did forget to mention is right here on the bottom you have this so if you wanted you could attach this to a tripod which is very nice Here's where you can attach that little lanyard. And then to turn it on, you're just gonna hold the red power button. You'll see the students start popping up. And immediately it's gonna start working. Now I've gone in here and already changed some of the settings. So I changed this to Fahrenheit, which you can see on the right hand side. I'm gonna just kind of move this around so you can see it working in real time. I'll show you some of the different options and features as well. So here I'm looking at the computer screen and you can definitely see that heat signature. And then I'm gonna pull the trigger and we're gonna take a little screenshot. So you can see that says successfully saved. In the top left corner, you'll see you have the battery and the top right, I've changed the date and time to 12 hour instead of 24 hour and changed the date and time to be correct as well. There is my desktop computer. Take a little snapshot of that. So here in the settings, let me show you what we got. So you've got the up and down, left and right, four different spots, and you have the set button. You also have this button here. So we took those snapshots, so you'll click this. It's gonna take you to the album folder. Click that, and now you have the, those snapshots that we took. So that'll show you the computer screen and the desktop. So that's very cool. You can empty the folder or you can delete a single folder. So let's just pretend we want to delete this. All right. Now we're going to go back. So hit that little red button, go back again. So now we're back into the main screen. If you click the set button, it's going to take you to all of your different settings. So going through here, this is where I change the temperature, or excuse me, this is the temperature range. Uh, where I changed the units is right here from, this was in Celsius, so I changed it to Fahrenheit. You can also change the palette. I'll show you that on the screen too. You can change it here. You can change it on the main screen we we're on as well. You can set a high or low alarm for temperature. You can change the, the display brightness to low. You can also change it to medium, which we were on, or high. The date and time, which I changed. You can do correction mode, USB mode. This will go over the snap. So the trigger that we had done to take the photo. Then you have an auto power off mode. I changed this and set it to five minutes, but you can do 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or turn it off completely. You've got your format, language, factory reset. And then here on the main screen, this is where 
you can change to the different color palettes. So this is white hot. You can see there's the desktop, green hot, blue hot. Ooh, that's cool. Let's take a snapshot of that. Red hot, you got a blend, rainbow, iron, and black hot. So this thing is very cool. Just hold that to shut it off. And it'll say shut down. And that's all she wrote. This is a super cool handheld thermal camera. Definitely, definitely think you should check this out. One, it's fun to play with if you ever wanted to just mess around with one like me. And two, it's great if you are an inspector of some sort or you just want to check your house to see if you have any air leaks uh, or insulation leaks, things like that. So definitely worth checking this out. Very, very cool.